Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Backyard Bust. I'm your host Im Lili and I'll be with you throughout this season. This show is all about the musicians and the music of Nagaland. Today, today we have a very special guest with us. But before we reveal him, let's check these two videos out. <laughs>
you for uh, coming on a show. Mm. So we have some questions for you. Okay. So are you ready for it? Yeah, please. All right. First of all, uh, we have a question up from a fan of yours. Okay. So the question is, uh, who inspired you to be a musician and who are your inspirations at the present scenario? Mm, I started singing very early, so uh, I can't really say in the beginning initially because I started singing when I was five years old. But then as I grew up, I started listening to bands like uh, Petra, uh, Green Day, Nirvana, then Eminem came in my life, then Jason Mraz, mm. yeah, it goes on. But not forgetting even the local artists, the artists from Nagaland, like uh, there was a guy called Denny Boy. He was such an influence to me since I uh, always see him perform. And there was a guy called Sashi from Suffering Soul. Mm -hmm. And these guys were some of the artists that I grew up listening to. And mm -hmm. I always get inspiration from them. Yeah. Talk us about this whole idea about Laughter and Tears. This song especially for people who are married. So even yeah. though they are old, you know, they're not worried because even though they, are, they die, they are soulmates, so they're going to be together in heaven. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's very romantic love song. If you're wondering what the video is all about, you can have a look at it. See you on the other side. <laughs>what are your band's take on you, you know, pursuing your solo career? Oh, uh, I'm so blessed with wonderful band members. Uh, I started initially as a solo artist and mm. then that's how I invited them to one of my show and they played for me and we started as a band. Yes. Uh -huh. So basically, uh, they have no problem because the genre is totally different. Mm -hmm. I can't sing the song that I'm singing as a solo artist with my band mm -hmm. because my band is a rock band yes. and I can't go and sing pop band, you know. It uh, contrast sometimes but then at the end of the day uh, it's a plus point you know any publicity is a good publicity I go as a solo artist I get fans I get you know publicity people appreciate that suppose we do a show people come to the show 
to watch the solo artist. Some people come to the show to watch the band. So it's a pl it's a win win situation for us. So we have no issue. If you were to collaborate with any musician or any band from Nagaland, mm -hmm. who uh, who would it be? I want to do a song with Methanile. Okay, Methanile. you might find it funny, but I, I am a big fan, and I, I would love to do. He, he's a legend, you know, yes, in is, Nagaland. So yeah. I want to do a collaboration with him. Mm -hmm. It'll be. I, I'm. I'm sure it'll be fun. Can you sing us a line of his song? Any song? I mean, everybody general. know the yeah. song. Like I call her, I call her darling. Oh yeah. <laughs> she calls me. She calls me dustbin. After this song, you'll be still with us. So tune in, and hang with us. See you after this. <laughs> Next, we have Hello Radio. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really inspired by their music because uh, formerly they were also known as White Noise. Mm -hmm. And the vocal here is uh, from uh, the band Incibit. Yeah. Earlier we played w one of their songs. So um, I'm really, I'm really, I want to say, uh, lost for words because they have been experiencing, uh, I mean, experimenting with a lot of music and mm -hmm. uh, musicians. Yeah. So what are your take on them? Uh, they're all my friends and they are a bunch of amazing musician coming together forming a band the songs are so friendly very melody oriented song mm -hmm. so it's very good for market that's what i should say and very commercial and mm -hmm. so i believe that if they work hard with their pr and marketing the songs will go along it's, it's a really really good band and very good songs mm -hmm. you know there are so many talent shows come up in nagaland mm -hmm. so do you support them like do you think uh, they are doing justice to talent uh, Maybe, may not, 50-50. Uh, see, I want to say one thing to all the talent organizer in Nagaland. When you do a show, 
don't make it just a money oriented yes, because with money voting systems yeah yes. No, I mean, no, no, not just the voting. Voting is, I can't help it because they need a revenue and that's the only source. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the price thing. Uh, it shouldn't be just money, money, because money is not going to take the musician anywhere. But try to get them platform, you know, like suppose uh, there's a, a music competition, a solo singing competition, where the winner go maybe get a record deal with uh, maybe Universal or Sony. Try to deal like that. I'm sure the artists would love more. You know that those kind of thing rather than you know, the money. You know, winning the competition is just the first step for yeah. me. It's not the end. You know, but then unfortunately, many artists they think that winning the competition is the end, and that's where they die. So I believe that the organizers should help the artists and then push them up, and then you know, let them go and explore. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So go check this uh, video, Hello Radio, and I'll see you after this. Mm -hmm. Oh 